Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Bohr, three-star defensive lineman, has decommitted from the Florida Gators. That is correct. Three-star defensive lineman, Michael Bohr, as you can see here in the film, has decommitted from the Florida Gators. And I'm sure a lot of us are, what happened? We're panicking because obviously the loss to Utah, that means everybody's going to leave. No, not at all. Everybody relax, everybody chill out. Okay, from what I'm hearing, seems like it was a more, almost a mutual decision. All right, we're going to get into that here shortly, so don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about what lies ahead for the Florida Gators and why this may be a good thing, because more talent is on the way. Michael Moore, although, again, loved having him. 6'5", 350 pounds, ton of size on that defensive lineman from the state of Georgia. It appears that he has now flipped his, his interest to Georgia as on three has him leaning heavily now to land at Georgia. From what it was hearing, it seemed like he wanted to search around, visit, do some more shopping in his recruiting. And it sounds like Florida's not playing games. Once you make the step to become a Florida Gator, that's it. That's a lock. You're a thousand, a thousand percent committed. He wanted to shop around. Florida was not having it. So, look, kudos to him. He should be able to shop around, but I'm liking the, the approach that Florida is taking on locking down these recruits, making sure that they are 100% com committed to the Florida Gators. But you've got to think that there is more that lies behind that than just the fact that he wanted to shop around. That leads me to my next point is the what lies ahead. We have had a ton of noise about LJ McRae, who and we know visited Florida, or excuse me, Georgia, during that big weekend, that big barbecue weekend that we had. But the rumors about LJ McRae have not gone anywhere. There is still a lot of excitement for LJ McRae to come to Florida, a four-star defensive lineman. And now Dylan Evans, committed to Texas A&M at one point, decommitted to Texas A&M, I think. I believe he's no longer committed to Texas A&M, or he may be committed. There was a ton of heat behind Mr. Evans going to the Florida Gators. It was so hot, we felt that we were we had graphics already lined up for this young man to become a Florida Gator. Then everything went hush-hush when we had that massive recruiting weekend, that massive haul that included Michael Bora of defensive linemen. Well, here recently, even DJ Lagway has been, noticed, has been noted to say that, hey, look, I'm heavily going after Evans again. If we were in a train job, if we're to exchange Michael Bora for these two young gentlemen right here, no need to fear, okay? Billy Napier is here, ladies and gentlemen. So, I, look, I think we've got some good things on the horizon. This is a massive recruit, and we can hear it up against Tennessee. You know there's going to be some big star recruits. Could we see a commit happen before or during this weekend? You might, you could think so. It's a, big, it's a big weekend. It's a big weekend for Billy. It's a big weekend for these recruits to come in and visit. Could we capitalize on top of this? Look, into where we're at right now, I know everyone panicked week one, but after week two, what, what, how the SEC looked, Florida's not looking too shabby. And the defense right now is looking pretty elite. We're ranking up there in the top of the SEC. I think these guys are seeing what they like with Armstrong. So we have to be excited for what's to come. And here's another big factor that we've, keep, we keep, we've been mentioning this entire time. We saw it last year. A lot of freshmen are seeing the football field early. And especially this year. What is the biggest thing that Billy is concerned about going into the Tennessee, uh, the Tennessee game? Is the youth that he was going to be placing on that football field. These recruits see that. They say, I'm going to go to Florida and I'm going to have an ability to play right away. Which is going to make our freshmen that are going to be sophomores next year. And typically when you see that sophomore status, you think, oh, it's a sophomore. Our sophomores that are going to be going into next year, are going to be in the same elite status as a junior because they're going to have the same amount of reps. They're not going in with 5, 10 reps, right? They're going to go in for, with a handful of reps, meaning freshmen are seeing that, incoming recruits are seeing that, hey, we're going to go to Florida and we're going to play right away. If we are good enough, they're going to put us on the field. So you got to think that is going into these guys' recruits. These recruits are noticing that and want to play right away, especially with the NIL deal. They want to get their name out there and have the NIL you know, just factor playing a huge role. But you know what we got to do here? Anytime we have a hunch or a feeling for what's going to happen, our, our our average ranking did not drop down by much at all. The average recruit actually went up with the, with the loss of a commit. And look, if we're exchanging it for two of these studs right here, I promise you, I'm not going to be upset about it. But I do want to whip up the calculator because you know what we got to do? We got to see what, what, what could be if we were to whip out the calculator here and add these two young men to the staff. So right now it's at 283 with the departure of Michael Bora. But let's go and out, out old, add old LJ McCray to the lineup. Let's calculate that. That puts us at 287. And then Dylan Evans. Again, this is what we do. We like to count our, our chickens before they hatch. That's the game we play around here on High Top Sports. 291. We're sniffing that elusive 292 that we're all working for. And hoping for for this top elite recruiting class. My goodness, that would be one hell of a defensive class coming in. Not to mention, boys, I keep trying to keep trying to remind you guys that linebacker class. 
Boy, oh boy. Just keep your eyes on it. Keep your eyes on it. Gainey Daniels, 487 yards of total offense on, on Friday. DJ Lagway, five touchdowns over 200 yards passing this past Friday. Boys, y'all be, y'all be patient. Bill, hey, Bill is cooking, boys and girls. Make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe. We have a jam-packed just episodes lined up tonight, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, the entire week. Saturday, Saturday, all day Saturday. I'm going to be at the game of Tennessee, so make sure you guys come see me, come check me out. We're I'm hoping to throw a little tailgate party, a little tailgate show at the Swamp. Hope to see you there. If you are, drop drop, drop it down in the comments. Say, I'm going to be there. Say, F Tennessee. Do a little F, F Tennessee emoji. And I hope to see you guys there. Again, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.